Today, interwebs, people of the internet. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am joined by my friend, Justin Trapp. We should call this the Ask Justin T Show. <laughs> like Gary Vaynerchuk. Thanks for having me, Kenny. Good to be here. Hey, so um, we're just going to go straight to it. Um, I'm super excited because um, you've started this venture about helping churches 300 or less, which I, I have a heart for personally because... Um, over 50% of churches in this country are actually 100 and less in, in attendees at this point, and no one's paying attention to them, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's amazing, um, you know, the amount of emails and calls we get from, from pastors, and this is how this all started. Um, they need help. They want help. They just can't afford to go to Catalyst or to Exponential with their team. And we love those conferences. I personally, we go to those. Our team goes. But if you're a bivocational pastor who's an IT manager and you, your church is running 70, it's really hard to get your team together uh, to go to Catalyst or go to Exponential. So we tried to take some of those speakers that you might hear at a Catalyst, uh, some speakers that are pastors or church leaders that have been pastors at smaller churches that grew them and said, hey, let's do an online event where we can uh, really target and help the smaller church, smaller church teams be able to participate, grow, yeah. and live together. And so that's how Propel sort of came to be. So how many, so is this, the, this is not the first year. How many years have you been doing it? This is our second year, second year. And so last year, how did it go? How many churches uh, were participating last year? Last year we had close to 200 churches, uh, teams, and then this year we're going to push uh, over 200. It was just under 200 last year. It's going to be a little over 200 this year. So, And I love it. It's also a conference where it's not meant for just the lead pastor or one person. That You're, you're supposed to watch it as a team, right, to really help resource the team together. Yeah, so we, we did some surveys with our email list, and we asked the question, what would be most helpful to you? Going to a conference or watching a conference for you, just the pastor, or watching a conference or attending an online event with you and your team. And only 2%, only 2% said, yeah, I just want something just for me. Huh. They wanted something for them and their team. They want their team to benefit. And so, yeah, this is, this is a conference for pastors and their leadership teams. It just makes you wonder, like, you know, going to conferences that I see uh, every year, like a Catalyst or Exponential or... Um, Orange or Q, where it, I mean, it costs a lot of money, travel, hotels, rental car, food, everything. And I know a bunch of those pastors fit in the same category. They want something for the team, but there's not enough budget. It seems like almost a wasted resource. At some point, we're going to, I think, see a turning of the tide where online resources like this is is got to um, take up more of any church development budget. Yeah, I think... Uh churches need to sort of earmark that at the beginning of the year. Like we're, we're going to invest into our leadership team. We're going to invest in our leadership staff. When I, when we poll pastors, we say, what is the number one thing your church needs? And, and uh, number one at the list almost every time is leadership development hmm. for my peers, for my staff, for myself. And so it's a huge need and we've got to just sort of not look at it as just an expense, but that there is actually a tangible return yeah. down the on this investment. Yeah. So um, can you talk about, I think you've been very intentional in terms of setting up the topics and the speakers that you've curated for the conference. Can you tell us a little bit about the top line categories of content and who's speaking this year at this, this year's Propel conference? Sure. So we have four main areas at Propel. We have leadership development because that's what everyone says they want and need. We have church growth because mm. uh, we want to help these smaller churches get momentum and, and reach more people. And then we have discipleship because you can't have church growth. You can't have numerical growth without having discipleship discipleship married to that process. And then uh, one area that we feel like is very, very important, that's personal vitality. And that really focuses on the, the personal health of the leader uh, there at the table watching. And so those are the four categories. Really excited. We have um, the men's pastor at Saddleback, Tom Kane. He's talking about discipleship. Uh, Sean Lovejoy, he's talking about some leadership stuff. Um, Brandon Cox, Holly Tate from Vanderbloom, and she's talking about how to create a, uh, a personal or a, a church avatar mm. uh, for your church. Uh, and then one of my favorites is Jeremy Foster. Jeremy Foster is, is a church planner here in Houston of perhaps 
the fastest growing church in U.S. history. They had just over 8,000 people uh, a wow. few Sundays ago on a normal Sunday, and it's they're barely. I think they just turned two years old. They they I saw a Facebook Live video where someone was trying to. It was a pregnant lady. She's a blogger here in Houston. She was trying to attend their new campus. It was opening night, and the traffic was so bad in the parking lot that she said, "I'm pregnant. I'm not dealing with this. We're going home." <laughs> but this is this is a church plant though. Uh, in in Houston, that is experiencing experiencing tremendous growth, and I think there's a lot to learn from from Pastor Jeremy. But what he's going to be talking about, I think, is super interesting. He's going to be talking about what extreme church growth has not solved, what mm. it has not done for him and his team, what they are still working through as a team, what they're still working through as as leaders themselves. Church growth doesn't fix things inside us. Uh, that we need to address, and so uh, and, and inside our organization. So I think that's going to be a really, really interesting talk. Uh, obviously, my my favorite session of the conference is uh, from the guy named Kenny. He's got this really cool one. Um, <laughs> we got Josh Bailey. Love the Bailey brothers. They launched Lightstock. They're uh, PKs. Uh, Joe Sangle, Brian Dodd. I mean, I could go on and on. Uh, Michael Lukaszewski. But we have some really, really solid sessions this year, and I, I'm really really excited practically speaking let's talk about the logistics um when is it how long is it um how do they find out more details how much does it cost um how much is each additional attendee going to cost for your church team etc so if you'd like information about propel you can go to propelconference.co and um take a look at that the conference itself is a simulated broadcast on february 1st it's kind of like your willow creek summit leaders uh, type of thing where everyone, everyone watches together on a broadcast, but there is also uh, when you register, you will get access to the on-demand links and the individual sessions themselves. So you can watch that. It's about a three and a half hour event, but you can also break that up um, with the individual sessions. You could use those as staff meetings. Maybe you watch part of the conference together, and then you break that out over the next three months during your staff meetings. So is that on-demand content? Is that extra? A lot of conferences charge extra. No, no, no. It's it, it's included with the registration, and registration right now is $149 per church. It includes your entire team for $149. Bucks. Gotcha. And just to be clear, because I've t discussed this with you before, pastors should not feel guilty about literally – calling an all staff meeting or getting everybody in the room and to watch it together. It's not like they're cheating or anything like that. This is not meant for single person admission, right? No, no. This, the, the more the merrier. We even have a time for you to discuss things, uh, the different segments with your team. And so we think it'd be most beneficial if you had your team with you. Of course, you will find value and add value and be beneficial if you watch it, even if you were by yourself. But in an ideal setting. In fact, last year, Kenny, we had churches invite all of their volunteers up, their entire volunteer base. They invited up on like a Thursday night. Uh, some did it on demand. So they did Saturday morning. They fed everyone breakfast. This goes back to that survey where I asked, you know, only 2% of pastors said they wanted to watch something by themselves. Right. Well, I didn't tell you that. The rest of that survey was split. 47.5% said, I want to watch it with me and my team. 47.5% said, I want to. I want something for our volunteers. Mm -hmm. So uh, Propel is for leaders and the, the teams. Uh, we're actually coming out with something later this year called the Volunteer Leadership Conference. That's a one-night event just for the volunteers of your church. So Nice. I really appreciate that. So it's <laughs> www.propelconference.co, not .com. It's one of those newfangled... URLs, right? Propelconference.co. And then um, last year I saw there was a whole stream. If you were following on social media, um, those 200 or so churches, um, hundreds of people were watching. They were on social uh, conversing at the same time. Do you have a hashtag for this year's conference? Yeah, hashtag Propel17. I'm going to be on social. I'm sure you're going to be on social at the same time, Justin. We're encouraging everybody to just pitch into the conversation during the conference and even afterwards as you process all the things that we're learning together, right? Yeah, send us a picture of your staff. We'd love to see that. Gotcha. How do they do that? Where do they send that? Uh, just uh, uh, upload it to the hashtag and we'll get it. Gotcha. Okay, so Propel Conference, it's February 1st. Uh, what time does it start? Noon Eastern. Thank you. Okay, so noon Eastern. It's a good afternoon event. Nice way to treat your staff and volunteers to bring in some lunch and watch it together in the conference room, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. I'm looking forward to sharing some of the core principles of church growth that I've learned over the years working in the church and working with a bunch of other churches and ministries across the country over the years. It's a fantastic crew that you've assembled together this year. Uh, I almost wish we had an after party where we were all together and right. <laughs> celebrated and actually got to know each other even further. But this is a great resource, I think, for churches. Really hats off to you for pulling it together. Hey, well, we are honored to do it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for having me. And so if people want to reach out to you personally in your platform, what's the best way they can do that, Justin? So if they want to reach out to me personally, you can find me on Twitter at Justin Trapp. Um, we have our website that, that is sort of uh, the, the backbone of Propel. It's called Ministry Pass, ministrypass.com. It's a, it's a library of, of church resources, essentially. And you can get a free trial and get some free downloads and stuff if, if you like that. But yeah, me personally, shout at me on Twitter. And then uh, if you'd like to see any other things that we've got going on, uh, you can go to ministrypass.com. Okay. Thanks, folks, for listening in. I'll catch you on the interwebs on February 1st. Use the hashtag Propel17. And let's get the conversation started. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, man.